It's got a bit difficult. Honest to God, God, we're as rusty right. as heck. It's not sure. rust, it's wind. No, it's no. a wind. It's always going to be difficult. Right, 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 right yet. You're adding so fast. Not yet. Not, not, not yet. yet. Right, right. 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 Lots of power. You've fast got forward, fast forward. Oh, lots of power. Use it. There you go. Use it. More than that, more than that, more than that, more than that. Give it a Well, we're finally doing the last week of jobs, so it's Beverly's turn to uh, clean the um... crap off the logger. It's not actually as bad as I thought it would be. We've got some sort of critter running around the inside of the boat. Look at that. Oh, yeah. My wee job is to uh, clear all the surfaces. Because look at those. The words, they've just acquired rubbish. Oh, with they've it. acquired gayer stuff. <laughs> they've acquired stuff. That's my stuff. And Beverly's stuff is not immune. So um, apparently the logger has got loads and loads of calcium on. Yeah, you can see it um, here. I know. Uh, so what Bev's doing is putting it in vinegar. Can I have a look at the close-up? Because let's be honest. Oh, this. Oh, okay. I can see and, the... And on the wheels. Look. Look at that. Yeah. They're absolutely gummed. Yeah, that's calcium deposits. Ah. Well, this was just soaked in vinegar. And look at that, all nice and clean. Before anybody puts a comment in the comment section, that is not a cup of tea down there. That's the vinegar. <laughs> yeah. She's not drinking tea while on the job. <laughs> Although I would do. Now comes the fun bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, get this right first. Make sure you get the arrow the right way around. Yeah. So the arrow faces to the front yep. of the boat. The arrow facing forward. Yep. Take, take your time, get it right. And that is tightened down. That all looks a bit official. That's the official pen and the official logbook. I know. We're only going out and in again, but you know what? It just feels good to get the logbook out again. But um, because we've um, got the chart plotter sorted out, um, I've, I've got all the tidal information straight in front of me and one of the things that we did over the winter was we actually updated the um, software actually reads the right date now I mean so I know that doesn't sound an awful lot but it's just like yay <laughs> it's the difference between your GPS being here and being in southern Africa I know but you know what I mean it's like the date is right so the chart information is right now because we had a we did the software update i knew like, things were wrong when i give my when i give my position as the center of the sahara <laughs> the gps was all right it was the uh, date that was wrong so it would give you tidal information for about five days ago no really use to you whatsoever but never mind all right i'm ready to move all right let the nose out okay. see yeah, see that mid one? Just leave it there for now, but make sure it comes off. For God's sake, don't slip it over the cleat. Salty Lass is in a tight berth for a boat of her size, and we were not really prepared for the wind that was gusting down the alleyway. Okay, we're good to go. Make sure that slips off, Arthur. That's all. He's, he's holding it. Give us a wee push. The wind had other ideas. Yeah, I'm going to have to go forward and take her back again. Alright, okay. If the wind blows, it's I know, but it's always going to get the nose round. Let their power back. Oh, I know. Fortunately, we had lots of willing helpers, but this is an issue we will need to address. Well, go in and see if I can. You reckon? Let's get her even further back. Left, right? Because the nose doesn't want to go through the wind. It's Elliot's boat I'm concerned about. Well, that, woke him, that woke him up. 
there. She's not going to come around. She'll no. have to go back. Keep the nose that. out there, and we'll just start pushing the nose out now. It's going to be difficult. Honest go to God, on. we're as rusty right. as heck. It's not sure. rust, it's wind. No, oh, it's the wind. It's always going to be difficult. Right, right, right round yet. You're adding so fast. Not yet. Not, not, not yet. Right, right, right. 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 Lots of power. You've fast got forward, engine. fast forward. Oh, lots of power. Use it. There you go. Use it. More than that, more than that, more than that, more than that. More, give it a hard wheel. wheel. She's wide open throttle. Right, hard Good. wheel. And then reverse your, reverse your wheel. Reverse your wheel. Back. Bring her back. No pressure. Keep her going. Keep her going. Don't be afraid of We barely missed the other boats. It was a bit of a close run thing. Well, Bev and I are definitely rusty. Um, we uh, struggled to get out of our berth. We forgot the uh, lifelines at the back. Oh, but anyway, it's now to put time to put the sails up for the first time in ages. Well, we're out in the boat and we're wimping out. Uh, We've got two reefs in the main and two in the jenny. Uh, it's the sort of day we could probably put the full sails up, but um, because we haven't been at sea for months, we thought we'll just take it easy, we'll not push ourselves, we'll just not stress ourselves out of the boat, we'll have a nice wee... Yeah, flipping radios. Right, radio's done. Anyway, as I was saying, because we haven't been out for a while, we thought we'd take it easy. We'd put a couple of reefs in. So we're two reefs in the main, two reefs in the Jenny. And we're just having a... Let it record to camera. <laughs> anyway, we're out just for a wee burl before she comes on and does it again. Because they tend to do it three times. I've forgotten about that. Two months in and you forget about... There she goes, what to tell you. Anyway. Right for a wee burl, I'm going to go downstairs and turn her off. We sailed directly upwind so we could practice our tacking and get back into the way of things. We had also forgotten other little tasks such as lowering the lazy jacks so that their lines did not rub against the sail. Told you, it's about that big in the camera. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, in real life, I could hit that with a bread roll. In the camera, it looks about that big and about six miles away. As it is, we're doing well to not whack it, but there you go. That's cameras for you. But it's a lovely day out here in Belfast Lock, and we're both enjoying ourselves. Helm's woman Gainer is doing the helming thing. Um, doing a bit of hand steering because... Uh... I need some practice. Well, we both do. We've been sitting on our backsides locked down for the last couple of months. And you know what? You just, just get out of practice, don't you? I get too much out of practice. <sighs> I'm right. enjoying this. You can tell. Got a big stupid grin all over my face. It's just so good to get out again. You know, yes, we've got to go back to Carrick. But, you know, we're at least allowed out. <laughs> Hallelujah. I was going to tell you something, but I've completely forgotten what it was. So. Typical blonde. I know. I know. Oh well. Sailor V. Well, I made this uh, rather interesting contraption to keep uh, our ropes tidy and focus on this, Bev. Yep. Yeah. Oops. Has it got a bit of UV damage by any chance? Oh, it's this um, cord that this, um, I don't know where I got it from, a sewing shop that's uh, UV damaged. But the cords are alright, but uh, but yeah, 
these are just toast. Oh yeah, definitely toast. <laughs> oh well, it lasted a season, so I'll have to think of something else or maybe buy something. <laughs> Golly, that's a shock. It was all going well until I heard a gurgling noise. <laughs> what? I think we're just married. What do you mean? We've left a fender hanging in the water at the back. <laughs> I forgot a fender. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna go and get that now. No. I'd be a bit suicidal. It would. Well, got the tar. Look at my telltales, looking very good. Obviously I'm getting something right, but not quite perfect yet, but we'll get there. <sighs> so yeah, it's a glorious day here in the Vark. It's clear that um, our instruments will need to be recalibrated because I'm looking at my Windex and um, I'm exactly where I want to be for a close haul. Um, but um, according to my um, instrument down here, I'm less than 30 degrees, so I think something's badly amiss. So I recalibrate, I'm going to have to learn how to recalibrate my Raymarine wind instrument. So what are we doing at the moment, love? We were doing two and a half knots, we're now doing 2.7 knots. Whoa, so we are speeding up then. 10% oh, increase. But what we what what we've got how we set our sails? Right, we've goosed them, so we've got um, the wind very slightly on the starboard quarter, just to fill the jenny, and um, we've got the main on the port side with the preventer to stop it swinging back in too quickly. Yeah, so um, we wanted to on this um, wee burl to do some practice sailing. Well, we've done quite a bit now, haven't we, Ben? We have, and we're at 2.8 knots. We're getting quicker all the time. Yeah, but basically... Um, if the wind picks up a few more knots, we'll be scooting along. Yeah, but we we wanted to practice, and uh, we're now goose winging. We've done lots of beating. Now goose winging, so I class that as practice. Well, Beverly and I have been um, reading all about sail trim and um, we've got it so that the luff of the forestay is pointing directly towards the wind and according to the sail trim book uh, that is optimum and I have to recommend the RYA sail trim book at this point. Uh, it's actually a easy read which is all to its good. Got lots of pictures then. <laughs> yeah. It's got lots of pictures. I need them. So it was just an easy sail back to Carrick. <laughs> <laughs>